This is First Alert Weather. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the cool weather because <laughs> it's going to change. We are in July. We are in July. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I, I love it. I think I this know. is great. I wish we could hang on to this a little bit longer. Yes. I like hot weather. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be your fault here, what we're going to see this weekend. because so uh, we get our treat now. She yes. Her exactly. treat so later this We're going to soak so it up. Exactly. You can enjoy some <laughs> yep. hot weather just in time for the weekend. But let's go back and talk about how July's been so far. We've had just one day, 90 degrees or hotter. That was last Tuesday, 94. Other than that, We've been in the low to mid 80s and yep, that even includes today. Our temperatures are running a little cool here locally. We're at 82 degrees thanks to the clouds and few showers from the remnants of Tropical Storm Barrel. To our east and to our west, there are hotter temperatures though. Look at New York City, 86 degrees. Norfolk, Virginia, 90. Lake Tahoe, they're at 102. Even Seattle, 91 degrees. So we've got heat on both coasts and it's not so hot right here in the middle of the country, but again, that will be changing as we head into the weekend. For now, we do have some puffy cumulus clouds overhead. We're currently at 82 degrees. We have that north wind at 8 miles an hour. Humidity 55% when your temperature is in the low 80s. Humidity 55%. It's not bad. We're at 81 in Liberty, 76 for you in Overland Park, Olathe, 81 degrees. We're at 81 in Blue Springs, 87 in Lawrence, 86 for Ottawa. So where we've had more of that sunshine on the Kansas side, you're a little warmer where we've had more clouds, a little more rain. It's cooler closer to Marshall and Sedalia where temperatures are hanging out in those lower 70s. And clouds on radar showing the thicker clouds in our eastern communities. Marshall, Sedalia down towards Warsaw. We do have a couple of thunderstorms drifting southward now south of Butler. One more storm popping up heading towards Belton. Nothing severe for us, just a few downpours here and there. The bulk of the action, that's off to our east. They're seeing the heavier, more organized rain moving through Illinois into Indiana. Severe thunderstorms out ahead of, again, this is the remnants of Tropical Storm Barrel. Severe weather in the parts of uh, Kentucky into southern Indiana, southern Ohio. More active weather for them. This storm system is pulling away from us. So we're going to see more clear sky the later in the evening that we go. And our rain chances, which are roughly around 10% for the next few hours after sunset were dry. We're going to cool back into the middle 70s area wide and that will set us up for a nice night and a nice start to for our Wednesday tomorrow. Future scan shows there's 11 o'clock. We get that clear sky. We are clear overnight heading into our Wednesday morning. We'll have a great start to our day tomorrow, so it'll be a nice morning to go for a walk or run. Morning coffee outside. Go for it. Perfect morning for it. Lunchtime looks nice as well, but it will be a little hotter. We're going to get into the upper 80s tomorrow and then tomorrow afternoon we'll have a weak system zip through the region that could spark off a few isolated showers and thunderstorms, mainly up into northern parts of Missouri, Chillicothe, Trenton. Better chances for you. Slim chances down to the metro. Upper 80s for our highs. So tomorrow will be a very typical July day. More the same on Thursday. Low 90s are back on Friday, Saturday. 93 degrees and then Sunday, Monday and Tuesday highs are going to be more so in those upper 90s. Heat index levels near 105 and the hottest we've been so far this year in Kansas City is 98 degrees. We'll be right there on Monday, so we'll be monitoring that. A few of us could hit the century mark and then we will start to cool off gradually by late next week.